Hi, welcome to the series Maths is Easy, Maths is Fun. We'll continue our discussion on circles in this video. Specifically, we'll discuss the concept of tangents and secants. First, let's understand tangents. So we have this circle with center O. We have an external line. You know, there's some point A outside and we draw a line which just touches the circle in one point at the circumference, this kind of a line is known as a tangent. Tangent means an external line which just touches the circle in one point at the circumference. This kind of a line is known as a tangent. Now tangent has a very specific property. So we have this tangent, let us say AD, where A is the external point and D is the point where it just touches the circle. The center is O. If we join O and D, OD is nothing but the radius of the circle. And then you take the measure of angle ODA, the radius segment, the tangent segment, the angle at the point where the radius segment just touches the tangent this angle will always be 90 degrees. This is one of the critical property of circle and tangent. You have to remember this. This will be very, very useful in solving a lot of problems. The other critical point to remember about tangents is, as I said, tangent is an external line which just touches the circle in one point. So if I have this circle with center O, and I have this external point A, can you see that it is possible to draw two tangents to the circle? One will be across one edge of the center, the other one will be to the other end from the center. So from the same external point, we are in a position to draw two tangents to a particular circle. Now the key property to remember is that a tangent drawn from the same external point to the same circle will always be equal in length. It doesn't matter whether the point is here or the point is here. You would have one tangent like this, one tangent like this. The lengths of the two tangents, because one will touch the circle at one end, the other tangent will touch the circle at the other end. These two lengths will always be equal. You have to remember that tangent makes a right angle with the radius segment where it just touches the circumference of the circle. And tangent drawn from the same external point to the same circle will always be equal in length. Next, let us understand secant. Secant is also an external line which cuts across a circle, but a secant cuts across a circle in two points. So let's say I have this circle with center O, I have the same external point A and I draw a line segment that goes through the circle. You can see it is touching the circle at point C, it is touching the circle at point B as well. So ACB is a secant to the circle. Tangent touches the circle in one point. Secant touches the circle in two points. And the last concept that binds all of this together is something known as the tangent secant theorem. So let's say we have this circle with center O. We have the same external point. So first what I do is I draw this tangent AD. So AD, A is the external point and D is the point where the tangent just touches the circle. Then on the other side, I draw a secant ACB. It's the same external point A, first touches the circle in C, then touches the circle in B. So the tangent secant theorem says, from the same circle, from the same external point, if we have tangent AD and secant ACB, the length of the tangent AD, AD square, is equal to AC into AB, where AB is the length of the entire secant and AC is the part of the secant outside 
the circle. Thank you.